Sekarang tiga semua nak les les ni bosio bici mana tu orang netal tala, tu mata ni kelu, tu mata ikan dan mata ni skin ni kau. Nampak ni benda, nampak skin ni kelu sama orang apa tu kita mas, mas lagi tu kita nampak nampak sok orang dari skin ni kau. The chairman of the Water Color Gold Mines and Visiting Director, Dr. Ian He, the Acting General Manager, Government Representatives, Workers of the Mine Management Staff, um, also Government Administrators from this uh, region, and also the uh, Director for the Mineral Resources Department. Ladies and gentlemen, members of the media, Bulawinaka and good morning to you all on this uh, Namaste, Noaya and Niha on this lovely wet morning here in Watapola. On behalf of the Prime Minister and the leader of the government, who thankfully has just arrived back in Fiji this week, it is an honor and a great pleasure for me to officiate in today's event. A very significant event in the history of the Watapola mining operations which has spanned over 86 years. Last night, as I was talking to the chairman of the Watukola Gold Mine, he told me that normally most mines around the world, gold mines, last only for 20 years. This one has gone on for 86 years. It's been a long time that it has provided employment and provides services to the people of Fiji. So, ladies and gentlemen, today's event marks the commissioning of Watukola Gold Mine Limited Dolphin Sharp shaft deepening project with the shaft having been vertically extended from the fifth level to the 18th level. The last shaft commissioning that was done in Watukola was way back in 2003, 2003 to now, with the opening of the Sotu and the Lagivo ventilation shafts. At the outset, I want to thank Watukola Gold Mines Limited for the traditional welcome, the civil service that was accorded to me, and the ministry, and the government team that are here today. So, and it's great to be back in Vatukola. I was fortunate to have visited the Vatukola gold mine operations a number of times, including visiting the various capital projects when I joined this ministry as the minister responsible for lands and mineral resources. In doing so, I had the opportunity to visit underground workings, the treatment plant, and ended up holding a gold bar which contains the saleable material in my own hands. Unfortunately, they didn't let me take it home. <laughs> With the experience of visiting the Watercolor Gold Mine operations, I wish to take my hat off to all of the staff, the management, all of the workers, all the underground miners, those that have been responsible for the deepening of the shaft, I can see that some of them are still here with us today. Some of them have gone back to China, I understand. And all of, all of you that have been involved, working 24 hours a day, seven days a week, to ensure that the mine continues to operate and produces gold and silver. We indeed have a world-class mining workforce here in Watukola. And testament to this is the number of Fijians holding senior management positions in this mine, and those that began their career here and have moved on to leadership positions in other mining projects all over Fiji. And not only Fiji, but also overseas that have gone on, people that have been developed here in Watukola. Ladies and gentlemen, apart from being a major employer, the mine plays a vital role in the development of local, divisional, regional, and the national economy of this country. The sector is facing a lot of challenges, considerable challenges, as geopolitics and COVID-19 have affected world trade. But the point I would like to make is this. In the most difficult and testing of times, we are reminded of the absolute importance of mining and mineral resources to our nation's past and current economic development and future economic resilience. I want to comment Watukola Gold Mine Limited's commitment in improving the Watukola mining operations through capital investment in the implementation of various capital projects and also the innovative way in which they have managed to source capital for this next phase of its operations over the next few years. Today's event is a testament to the investment that is made by the company and it also is another strong indicator of investor confidence in investing in Fiji during this difficult economic climate. 
and speaks volumes of Watakola Gold Mine's commitment to securing the future of mining in Watakola. I was told that the dolphin shaft was initially sunk in 1939 as the red shaft and deepened to level five by 1942. The shaft was closed in the early 1960s and reopened in 2017 primarily as a downcast ventilation shaft to improve ventilation and subsequently working conditions at the Philip shaft. The proposal entailed the sinking of the shaft from the fifth level to the 18th level. This is a vertical distance of distance of 650 meters. 650 meters. I was advised also that works on the shaft commenced in 2018 and was undertaken by a team of experienced shaft sinkers from China after Watercolor Gold Mines Limited received approval from the Mineral Resources Department. The work was done in phases, with clearing of debris out of the old shaft, enlargement of the diameter of the shaft as a first phase. Actual shaft sinking work began in early 2019, and all the blasting work for the shaft sinking was completed in late 2019 after shaft sinking reached the targeted depth to level 18. Shaft equipping commenced in January 2020 and completed in November 2021. All relevant tests to ensure safety for man riding and material hoisting has been conducted and dolphin shaft will gradually progress to full operation after today's commissioning. The total cost of investment on this project amounts to Fiji $10 million, $10 million, which will increase the hoisting capacity and there is huge potential for more exploration and development of new mineable ore blocks. Ladies and gentlemen, government through the Ministry of Lands and Mineral Resources is also undertaking works in improving the mining sector. In particular, I wish to mention the review of Fiji's mining legislation that is currently ongoing. The process has begun with stakeholder consultation having commenced two weeks ago as part of the Fiji Mining Policy Framework Assessment, which forms phase one of this review of our mining legislation. This stems from the need to update or modernize, modernize existing mining statutes to ensure mining legislations and related policies remain relevant as mining and associated practices as well as technology evolves and manage the risks of mining legislations becoming out of touch and out of scale with proven modern best practices. An updated mining law also provides confidence to current and potential investors in the Fiji mineral or mining sector hence attracting investment in Fiji as part of government's efforts to diversify the economy and increase the mining sector's contribution to the country's economic output, which will raise the sector's participation in our gross domestic product. This is also in line with government's focus on mining projects attaining environmental, social and economic balance to ensure sustainable development and effective industry self-regulation. I wish to remind us all that we are living in unprecedented times as the impact of COVID-19 continues to decimate the global economy. Tropical cyclones wreak havoc, wreak havoc across the country and with a prolonged wet spell has severely affected our economy. And once again, this weekend, we have been warned about a lot of rainfall that will be happening in uh, Fiji. And as I woke up this morning and saw the rain, because my other responsibility is roads, I get worried about roads being washed away and crossings and bridges also being washed away. But we must all unite in this fight against COVID and play our part in helping to government rehabilitate and rebuild our economy. To recover would not be easy, but I'm confident that through our collective strength, our resilience and perseverance as Fijians, we will get there together. Once again, to conclude, I want to once again thank Watercolor Gold Mines Limited, all of your staff, all the workers, for the commitment and the continued investment in the Watercolor Mining Operations and for the, for the economic development of this part of Fiji, which has been dependent on this mine.
for so long. So it is an honor to commission the Watercolor Gold Mine Limited's Dolphin Shaft. I wish Watercolor Gold Mine Limited every success in its endeavors and all of us the best for the rest of the year. May God bless us and bless Fiji. Thank you and Vina Wale. It's my pleasure to officially rebuild the plaque for this uh, level of the commissioning of the Dolphin Shaft. Different. You can put that there. Sure. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 Okay